to the Arcade channel. My name is Ilke and we are Smiles and known as EJ. So yes, today I'm going to unbox this uh, box. There's a one Arcade in there, a, a Arcade that I had on my wishlist for quite some years. But I also did buy two other plants. So later on in this video I will show you two more new plants in my collection. So I wanted to mention that because normally I only do one per video, but this uh, came uh, uh, both this week so I thought I'm going to do just one video on all three of them. So let's have a look at the, these three beautiful new plants. So I did open the box this time because there's a lot of information on the outside of the box. My private information and also information from the seller. So that's why I opened it already. I didn't uh, take something out, but we already can see, obviously, some green leaves. But let's, uh, let's open this up completely. So yes, it's a very uh, special plant and I see a bloom over there. I'm not sure if you can see it on camera. So it is in bloom like it was on the picture yes it's a very special one very very hard to find here in Europe but I did and I'm very happy I did uh, let's see maybe we can take it out like this there we go let's put the box over there and have a first look at this beautiful bloom so no, it's not a sunset, it kind of looks like it. This is a Miltonia Ragnellii variety Xantina. Yes, and that is a very rare one to find. Trust me, at least I, uh, I had a very difficult time to find it. And suddenly it was for sale on eBay and only one plant, so uh, it cost me a little bit more than, uh, than normal, but yeah, because it's very rare, it's okay, of course. Kind of okay, or uh, understandable, let's put it like that, that it costs a little bit more. But yeah, it's beauty, and I love my Miltonias, and this is such a beauty to have in my collection. And it's really uh, growing out of the pot, but we still have some uh, nice roots here with some green tips, so who knows. And um, let's see if I can take the plastic off so we have a better look inside. It was uh, wrapped very well. It's coming from Belgium. So not that far from the Netherlands, but still. It was a few days in, in, in transport. I think three days. And so that's not very long. But plants do not like to be in transport, of course. So let's take it out. It's quickly as we can. Here we go. Quite some bulbs still left inside of the pots. Some nice bark, but it's buried fairly deep as you can see. So yeah, it needs to come out. But these bulbs do look uh, nice still. Some older bulbs here. So maybe we can have a few more shoots if it uh, really starts enjoying growing here in my, uh, my care. And I also see some uh, new roots inside of the pot over here, where my finger is. It's very hard to see, I believe, but on camera, yeah. But anyhow, nice new roots coming. And here's the tag. It says Xantina. Oops. There we go. So yes, a Miltonia Xantina, Ragnellii variety Xantina. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. It has the colors that I like so much. The yellow with the, the pink, a little bit of white, creamy there, but mostly uh, a very nice yellow. And some buds to come. I hope they, uh, they will make it. But I'm more interested to, at this moment in the plant itself and the new root, so I can repot it quite quickly, let it adapt to my uh, system, my cell watering system, and most of my Miltonias, you probably know, if you saw my videos, my, and especially my shorts, uh, are very big, very specimen sized. They really enjoy growing here. So let's hope this one will become quite a nice size plant as well in the future. So I also uh, did uh, buy uh, two more orchids the other day because I was uh, going, uh, I had a day off and I like to go to this uh, 
yeah, a, lo a local uh, kind of local nursery. It's it was the Orgedeo, but it's now called Pantropica, and uh, I just like to go there, just have a, cu a cup of coffee, a piece of cake, and just look around. And sometimes you they have these uh, pretty beautiful orchids. So yeah, then I come home with them, of course. But look at this beauty. So yeah, I bought two more plants. Look at this, it has another spike over here. If you recognize it, if you think, oh, I know the name for this one, please let me know. I mean, come on, this is beautiful. And what I also like is the structure of the bulbs. It has the typical odontoglossum in there, and I think it's mixed with an oncidium, so it's probably an odontocidium type. I'm not completely sure, but yeah, I love the structure of these bulbs as well. So I will uh, give you a better view in a minute. But first I'm going to do the close-ups. This has a similar type of growth as you can see. And it has beautiful blooms. They are quite different, it's a completely different color. There you are. They're a little bit compact, close together. But this is the other one. Once again, if you recognize it, please let me know. We have some buds to come and I need to take this clip off, as you can see. Um, and it has another spike over here. Let's go there. Look at that. I think it's a beautiful color. And, but yeah, this one shows the best. So those are two new ones. Let me zoom out a little bit so we can have a better... Oops, I'm sorry, that's zooming in. Zooming out, there we go. So here we have a few of the two plants together. Oh, here's the price tag. Maybe you did see it, 14 euros. I think that is about 15, 16 uh, dollars. So not uh, very expensive, both of them, same price. But lovely, such lovely blooms. Let me turn this around. This purple one is a little bit hard to film. But uh, yeah, beautiful. I love these odontoglossum types, these Oncidium intergenerics hybrids. I love them. Absolutely love them. So those two are new as well, you guys. So three new plants. I know I didn't need them, but I couldn't resist. They are so beautiful. <laughs> So yes, you guys, three more beautiful plants, and I can only hope that you enjoyed this video. If you know uh, some of the names of the orchids one more time, please let me know. I really would appreciate it. I did a first search. I couldn't find the names on the last two, of course. Uh, anyhow, if you have any requests or something like that, please let me know in the comment section uh, below. For now, thank you so much for watching, and I really hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos. Bye-bye. <laughs>